guys, it's coffee time. Today was my recovery day. My lips are super chapped from the wind in Texas. My hair is super greasy because I have yet to take a shower. Um, I'm still a little bit sleepy, but managed to get quite a bit of work done today, so feeling good about that. I'm trying to think of when the last time we talked was. I guess it was Friday night because Saturday morning we did Saturday morning Duger and it was like the biggest train wreck ever. <laughs> An hour and a half of just people showing up and being like, why is the audio so awful? And me being like, deal with it. <laughs> I was talking with Erin about it later because I was like, yeah, I live streamed from our hotel room and she was like, oh, and I was like, yeah, I decided to just do it to, you know, see if I could. And man, I was real fast and loose. <laughs> she was like, yeah, I was like, yeah. You know, I just like, I was sleepy enough that I was in one of those moods where people would come in and complain and I'd be like, do with that? <laughs> just like, Bleh. and she thought it was really funny, but you know what? We did it. We managed to do it. And I figured that like in the future, I can just take my headset and then use the microphone on the headset and that'll probably sound way better <laughs> than the microphone that we were using inside of the laptop. I didn't even think about it because my old headphones, um, these ones, these squishy bishies, these ones don't have a microphone on them, but my new ones, my HyperX ones do, so it's like, oh man, I could have brought those. Didn't even think about it. Did not even think about it. I'm not used to having that as an option. Oh my God. Uh, you know when like, when your lips get so cracked that right along the edge, like the outline of your lips, specifically your bottom lip, you can feel just like, like, uh, I don't even know how to explain it. It almost feels like hangnails, but on your lip. It's obnoxious and they hurt so bad. Like the second anything touches them, I'm just like, ah, ah. I feel like I can't open my mouth very wide, which, you know, being a loud person, I always want to open my mouth and just yell stuff. I don't know where I was going with that. But yeah, man, right now, um, Sam and I have been watching this guy on Twitch play the piano and it's nuts because we showed up when there was <sighs> how many people were watching when we first started watching this piano guy Sam 1.5k yeah it was like right when he started and now he's at nearly he's at 16,900 right now <laughs> he doesn't have a sub button he's just like hanging out on his stream like playing crazy awesome piano music and just more and more people keep showing up and it's pretty nuts so I've been playing Honey Pop and uh, watching that. But anyway, sorry, back to back to Pax. Pax House, the, the rest of it went fantastically. Um, I accidentally wound up at a Twitch partner dinner, which was great. <laughs> I just really wanted to meet Shannon. I wanted to meet Shannon so bad, but I felt awful because, so it was a, it was Saturday night. Saturday night, um, we were supposed to have what was called a, uh, Kigurioki. It was Kigurumi Karaoke. And basically we had like, you know, our Polaris room in the convention center and we said, if you show up and you're Kigurumi, you can join us and do karaoke. And uh, I was asked to dinner to grab dinner in quotation marks. And I was like, cool, yeah, I'll grab dinner and then come back and do Kigurumi Karaoke. This was not a grab dinner. This was like a sit down with lots and lots of people and talk about business. And I was like, oh my gosh, I did not plan for this. So I wound up missing karaoke and I had told a few of you that I was going to be there. So I feel really bad about that. I'm very sorry that I wasn't there. And on Sunday, oh, Sunday I'm at Danny Oriozima, my, uh, my animator slash drawer person. That was awesome. So we got to hang out a little bit. I missed the Cox and Crander panel, but I hear it was hilarious. So, you know, just stuff, just stuff, guys. We're gonna be doing the podcast tomorrow and Crender's on there, so the three of us, not TV, but Jesse and Crender and I. I mean, TV will be there, but he wasn't, he wasn't at PAX, right? So the other three of us will be able to talk about PAX and whatever all we did. I didn't go on the floor very much, though. I went on the floor that first day and walked around and that was like pretty much it. I did not walk around very much, so that kind of sucks. I won't be able to talk about it like in that sense. But on the plus side, um, I have a Monster Hunter code, so there's that, which is wonderful. 
And How'd you get one of them? I knew you were good. I like immediately went, oh, I'm mad. Sam's gonna be so angry. I'm fucking mad. You would be able to play it too if you had a US 3DS. No. Yeah. They haven't even given me. But they have a code for you. No. Yeah. I asked them about it and they said, we have a Sam code. Do you Where's want my this code? code? Then? I don't know. Ask them. You're a bad girlfriend. What are you talking about? You can play it online if you want. Nope. Then we can both play it. Nope. Jeez. Goodness gracious. Goodness gracious. But yeah. So, not a whole lot, honestly. On the plane, though, can I just say, one of the things that makes a plane ride super bearable is trying to teach a person how to play Binding of Isaac. Amazing. I like. I brought up my laptop and I was playing Binding of Isaac, and then Farid, who is somebody who works with us at Polaris, he was like, I was watching a few other people play this game because I was trying to figure out whether or not I should buy it. And I was like, do you want to try it out? And he was like, I'll watch you a little bit. <laughs> so he watched me play, but <coughs> he watched me play Binding of Isaac for a while. And I was like, you should try. And he was like, okay. It was hilarious. Farid, I'm so sorry if you ever watch this video. It was very funny. <laughs> he was just like, oh no, oh no, oh no. <laughs> this is like, cry, cry, cry. <laughs> he would just like forget how to make himself like cry and he'd just like run around or like he wouldn't line himself up correctly and then he'd like be shooting tears like at the wall and just be like, what's happening? <laughs> it was really funny. It was a really funny thing to be happening on the plane, so. <laughs> But, um, yeah, I'm home. Today was my, my R&R &R day. I'm going to go take a shower, and uh, that's about it. But I hope you guys have had a fantastic day, and I will be putting together, um, I did take a, a few little vloggy clips, so I'll push all of those together and put that out this week. And otherwise, I'll talk to you guys again tomorrow. Okay, bye-bye.